Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we're at Hole in the Wall Seafood. It's August. It's hot. It's crab season, and we got a lot of stuff planned for y'all. We got Enos here from the Dukes of Hazard, y'all. He's going to be here signing autographs and helping cook. We're going to be balling crabs. We're going to be balling shrimp. We're doing some New Orleans-style barbecued crabs and New Orleans-style barbecued shrimp. We're stuffing some crabs. We're making some crab patties. We're marinating some crabs. So y'all hang on. Cajun living and cooking is fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all. I got Jacob with Hole in the Wall here and his uh, helper here, Eric. What we're getting ready to do is ball some crabs. Now, tell us the process, what we're going to do. Oh, right now, we're getting a, a, a few dozen male crabs, and we're going to get a couple dozen female crabs. Uh -huh. Man, them, them females are beautiful. That big, looks good. big female. Got a lot of fat in them. What we're doing, we're just putting them in the basket. Uh, I have a, a ice flush water. Yeah. That we're going to... Crucial to balling crabs. Right. So after, after we get the crabs in the basket, we're gonna take and, and dump it in that ice slush for about 10 minutes. And what that does is, the crabs are alive, kicking, pinching right now. Right. What that does is it gets the crab to a dormant state where whenever they go into the boiling water, they don't shed their claws. Ah, they all gonna get tightened up with the ice water. Right, they, 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 they go dormant and, and straight from the ice slush into the boiling water. Not everybody knows that. They'll buy some crabs, bring them home, throw them in the pot and all the legs and, fall and, off. And, and everyone wonders, man, why, why do I have all these claws at the bottom of the basket? Well, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> good and dormant right now. Yeah, they won't bite you now. They're, they're not gonna bite you and they're, they're not gonna shed, shed their claws whenever we drop them in the pot. All right. So we'll go ahead and Oh, that's a rolling ball there. Oh, yeah. You want to make sure it's at a, at a hard, hard ball whenever you put the crabs in. Saranara. The yep. crabs are in. All right, now how long are we going to go? Once the water comes back up to a boil, okay. we're going to go for about 8 to 10 minutes at a good, good hard boil. And then we'll shut the fire off, and yep. I'm going to actually add probably about 10 15 pounds of ice on top yeah to kill the cooking process all right and then get you know so the crabs start soaking okay. up the season and then we'll soak them for 25 30 minutes okay yeah okay crabs are in crabs are fixing the ball things are getting better This is where the where the well actually where the shell comes off from the meat. 
Right, right, right. You can see, you can see right here. Now, I know it, it, it might. Ah, be, I it, see it. it. It might be hard to see on on camera. Yeah. But you can see this. The shell has separated. From gotcha. The, and I see it. I can tell. Oh, I don't yeah. know if we can see it on the camera. Oh, look at that. Right off. Oh yeah. And that's when you're done. That's it. The the, the shrimp are cooked. You're gonna. So we, we did the same thing. We added the ice to the water. To, yeah. Uh, to kill the, the cooking process. That way they don't overcook. And we'll let them soak. How long? Uh, 25, 30 minutes. Okay. It, it's sort of hard to over soak a shrimp as right. long as you got the water temperature cooled off. Once you through where they don't overcook. Gotcha. All right, y'all. Another fine lesson right there from Hole in the Wall Seafood. Now, we got a couple more things we're going to show y'all. We're fixing to do some New Orleans style barbecued shrimp. So that's next. What's coming to you right now? And when we come back, I'm going to show you what's really going on. Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood, seasoning, sauces, and propane needs. They have local Amy River catfish, $3.99 a pound all year long. Fresh shrimp, Dungeness crab, local frog legs, soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, live and ball crabs, and cracklings. And don't forget, crawfish season is just around the corner. Always local, never imported at Hole in the Wall Seafood. Ascension Troll and Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota Warranty Service Center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Troll and Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Welcome back to Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. We're at Hole in the Wall Seafood, and with me, I've got Mr. Sonny Stroyer, who's better known as Enos from the Dukes of Hazzard. Hey, man, thanks for coming, man. I sure appreciate you coming. Please be. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show people about crabs, how to peel crabs, how to marinate some crabs, and how to make a crab stuff. Now, the first thing we was talking about is the male and the female crab. The, the male crab has a long, gated back, and the female crab has a big, wide back like that. That's the, uh, and it's probably, this crab's so heavy, it's probably just about ready to lay eggs. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to show y'all how to peel them. Now, what you do is you pop it open. All right. First thing you're going to want to do is take the dead man off, which I call the dead man. Because if you eat them, it might take it. You eat a dead man. Yeah, are you kidding me? And you don't eat, that's the lungs, really. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And the next thing you do is you pop them open. Now, some people eat the, uh, eat the fat, some don't, you know. But the most important part on this crab is the big ice cream cone. Like it, where you pop that off and pop that off. Get that ice cream cone out of there. Now, try that. That's some hole in the wall seafood ball crab right there. Very, very good. Hard to beat. Now what we're going to be doing... Yum, yum, yum. That's great. That's great. We're, we're going to be marinating the crabs. I'm going to take a few and pop them and put them in there. That is great. That's good cooking. They do very well here with their crabs. Mm, 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 now male crabs aren't historically as fat, but yet they still have some in it, you know. But you always take them lungs off. Are you call lungs. Those lungs or, uh, that's the that's their gills or lungs. I guess I, I guess it's lungs. I call it lungs. Go back. We pop them open. Yeah. And we're gonna put them in here for marinade. Now, when you boil them crabs, you're gonna eat a bunch of crabs, and you eat so many, you don't know what to do with them. What I've come up with a recipe for some marinated crabs. It's really unique. Now, what I put in there is an Italian dressing. 
You're going to pour some in there. You can get the bottle open. Man, what you gave me a while ago is, is good. You I don't mean, want to add nothing to it. <laughs> well, you put the, you put the put Italian dressing in there. Oh, with all that. Okay. All that. We got some sweet pickles. Oh, yeah. I totally got some of the juice, but I didn't take it all out. We're going to dump them babies in there. All right. I got some olives. Okay. We're going to put them in there. Oh, yeah. They all want to get out of there. And I got up very early this morning, and I don't want to brag. My wife bought some bald <laughs> eggs. All right, but, and you put them in there also. Look like they will fit. And you add the Italian dressing, and we're going to put some more crabs in there. And you put that in your refrigerator. Wow. And that. from that time to time throughout the week, you can go and eat you some uh, marinated crabs. That's wonderful. Now, another thing I want to show people is how to peel crabs. It's old fashioned. A lady showed me this a long time ago how to peel crabs. Pop that back off. Knock the top off. Okay. Take the dead men off. Now, they'll pop them legs off too when they do this. Take everything off, and you'll take a butter knife, and you cut across here, right across the legs. You got to be a serrated knife. Okay. And what you do, you just open that crab up, and you can get to that meat in there without having to go through all the hard work. Mm -hmm. Try you some of that. Pick some yeah, of that out. Yeah, that's Good. And that's just a little quicker way if you want me to get the crab meat out. Just another little trick. And we got the marinated crabs. We're going to eat on a couple of these crabs. We're going to come back and we're going to make a crab stuffing. We're going to stuff on these fresh ball crabs and we're going to fry it. So y'all hang on. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. How was them ball crabs? Oh, man. It's wonderful. I just wish I could dig down in there and get it all at once. Well, now <laughs> we got some lump crab meat that somebody's already done all the digging for us. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make a stuffed crab. Now, uh, Mr. Sonny's gonna help me out doing the stirring and stuff, and we're gonna make it. But uh, y'all got a big event coming up on the 4th of July at North Park. Yeah, yeah, uh, the, uh, hey, Chef Roscoe, and Cliss, and Daisy, hey Daisy. <laughs> and uh, and uh, 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 Ennis is gonna be, that's me. And then, uh, Big Jambalaya cook-off? Oh yeah, uh, Luke Duke is gonna be there, yeah. Bands, we got some big oh, name bands. Yeah. Fourth of July, y'all. This is Mark really Chestnut. gonna be big. Mark March Chestnut? Chestnut? Yeah, and Tracy Lawrence and Doug Stone. Wow. Don't stop. Wow. Doug Stone. I'm gonna get my ticket as soon as they go on sale. <laughs> well, they, 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 y'all come. It's that gonna be a really damn nice. friends. July 4th, don't miss it. Okay, we're gonna start off with some onions. Did I say Daisy? <laughs> you said Daisy. And that's what I wanted to ask you. Did you really have a crush on Daisy back then? Eric. Uh, back then? The back you mean back then? <laughs> hilarious. Hilarious. I love it. We got onions in there. We're going to put a little salt and pepper. You got to have salt and pepper because when I buy my onions, they don't come with salt and pepper. We don't want to get too much salt. Everybody's trying to do a little healthy now. You want me to stir? Yes, sir. We're going to get him to stir it up. Now, I always put a little Old Bay when we do it. Anything with crab, you got to put some Old Bay in there. Oh, yeah. Old Bay. And we're so close to Koyo, Old Bay. we got to put some uh, seasoning in there anyway. You're going to get your French shrimp. We're going to put some hot sauce. We'll weigh it up. How you doing, bud? All right. I don't think you can put too much hot sauce. Oh, yeah, man. Now what I got is a raw egg. Yeah. 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 Ye
Bert's a great guy. We, we, we went to uh, the same school together. He, he lasted a lot longer than I did. I, I didn't last for one year down at Florida State. And uh, Lee Corso was my leading quarterback back then. Oh, oh really? Yeah, uh, so you can tell how old I am. Gotcha. Oh, Lee's still on TV. Yeah, we both, we both worked for uh, uh, Coach Tom Midget. Tom Midget. Gotcha. Anyway, yeah, am I doing all right, Ben? Yes, sir. Look like you got it going on. I'm thinking we need to thicken it up. I think I might have another angel. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, hey, let's okay. see. Yeah, let's see yeah, if this okay. balls up. We might not need you. Yeah, we might not need you. Well, it looks mighty good. It does. I'm putting another egg. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Now, uh, you was in Smoking the Man, and you was the, the policeman that, that uh, Sally Field shot the bird at, huh? Don't tell nobody that. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody doesn't see it anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was in the longest yard with Bert. We, we, uh, we spent nine re weeks in prison, uh, in Reesville State Prison. Oh, that was in, in Georgia. Georgia, in Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, nine weeks. That was, uh, I played the idiot convict for Call Sonny in that. <laughs> and Bert, you use your real name? Hey, Bert, Bert, uh, he was a dripping uh, ball player. He was fast and green lighting, man. And you was in uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah, I was in Forrest. Don't tell no, no, none of these LSU people that I played Barry Bryant in Forrest Gump. No. That's hilarious. They, they might burn my house. Yeah, yeah, that's the classic yeah, show, y'all. Sorry about that. that. That's really, really cool. That's a classic around here, Forrest Gump. And I think it is everywhere. That's an icon movie. Everybody yeah. knows about that. But I want to get back to the Duke's hat. That's good. That does. That does look good. Now, be uh, hungry, man. Now, you was, was real good. to get back to the Duke's of Hazard stuff, was Boss Hogg a big eater when he wasn't on the set? Boss Hogg was a big eater, but he, he didn't eat all that raw, raw liver. You know? Yeah, they just made that look good. All right. <laughs> this looks like we got some. We're going to stuff these crabs up. All right, all right. Now, this is the ball crabs, y'all, that we had just now peeling and eating. They getting a close up of this, let me. Look at that. Now, I'm going to grab That's done. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to crust it like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of bread crumb on top of that. Hold that on there. And we're going to pat it on. We're going to pat it on there. Look at that. That's like you'd buy at a restaurant right there. Look at that. It makes me hungry. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all. We're going to stuff some more crabs. We're going to get these fried. And then we're going to taste them. I might taste them now. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all hang on. It's only getting better. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Marlin's Pizza has two great locations, one in Prairieville and one in Santa Mall. Dine in, carry out our delivery. That's right y'all, seafood delivered free to your home or business. Shrimp, oysters, catfish, and frog legs. They also have po' boys, spaghetti, fried pickles, homemade onion rings, salads, and 100% pure beef burgers. Marlin's Pizza Dough is made fresh every day. And this is the only place you can find the Lamex Pizza. And oh yeah, y'all, don't forget about that seafood muffalata. Just when you thought you had the best, there's better. The new Hustler Raptor. Heavy duty welded steel deck, professional grade cut quality, premium Kawasaki power, all from just $27.99. The new Raptor series from Hustler, tools, not toys. Come get your Raptor Super Duty today at Gotro's Lawn and Garden in Gonzales. Dana, we have a flat. 
Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, We're gonna have to taste this baby. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Falling out of there. That is wonderful. Look at that. Good old crab. Man. It looks good. Mmm. Mm. Oh well, you, yeah, hey, you great. got some good flavor? Hey, you saw I got forks and stuff outside. All right. Yeah, I got them outside. That is wonderful. Hey, it's good? Hey, you got it. Hey, you got some, uh, I gotta get me a taste of the Give Leslie some of this too. Nobody's it's great. Have no Man, let's see. Good. 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 I tell you what, I can't resist it. Yeah, y'all. That's good. That's good. That's we're gonna good. put the recipe on our Facebook. We're gonna put it on the website too. Or y'all can get it. You know what? Give me some. I actually, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna we gonna knock it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember I thought I said yeah. I actually brought it. Crystal pop sauce. Look at here. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. really did. Look, two shots at one. Look at that. This has been fun. We got a few things for you to bring back. We got some hole in the wall cracklings for you to bring back. They make their own cracklings here. All right. We got some beef jerky that they make here. You got to bring that back with you too. Yeah, man. I've got you some of Blanchard's seasoning for you and Mr. Tony to bring back. Oh, man, Blanchard's. Okay. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm going to go to the fried fish, right? Yeah, you can put that on just about anything. It's that ice cream. Hey, Rodney, this has been fun. Man, I'm glad you came. I'm really glad you came. Y'all stay tuned. We're still going to do some New Orleans style barbecue shrimp and New Orleans style barbecue crab. So it's not over yet. Y'all hang on.
the barbecue shrimp. We got the marinated crab. We got the ball shrimp, ball crab, stuffed crab, breaking bread, everything, y'all. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Let's try some. Right you the bread breaker? Let's break us some bread. We're gonna try some of this sauce. Oh yeah, you, you got you got to dip the French bread. That in goes the in the sauce. sauce. In, in oh, the yeah. sauce. Here, go, beat, tell us what you think about that. Let's sauce. see. <laughs> that's a good sign. Chipping and handling free. Man, that's good. Man, that's good. Y'all, this is this is really good eating, y'all. And and we fixing the pig right here. watching Cajun living and cooking and you come to hole in a wall seafood because they're gonna treat hey everybody how y'all doing this is mr max himmel and we're here to tell y'all about a black iron pot contest we got coming up at galvis hardware it's september 20th now it's a black iron contest that you can cook anything you want it might be cobblers going up against gumbo so whatever you can dream up and it's also for the dreams come true foundation and let's tell them a little bit about that Right, we're local people raising local money for local kids. Been doing it 32 years, but 92.4% of all the money that we collect go to our kids. And we can't do it without people like you, and I'm entering the contest, baby. Oh, he's cooking too, so y'all come out and join. It's September 20th at Galvis Hardware.